superhero school. Its next student is boldly going to learn what no other superhero has learned before. Yes, this is the story of Maths Man. For the life of man, it's Maths Man. This must be my learning pod. Hello. Today is my first day at school. You're late. Uh, it's this map. I took the wrong turn at the Great Constellation. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Not Your Highness, Your Wholeness. Wholeness? What? As in a whole? <laughs> no. Wholeness as in entireness, totalness, complete and utterness. Sorry. Where are you? I can be anywhere you want me to be. But mostly, I'm here. Welcome to Superhero School, the finest teaching academy in the galaxy. Here, we turn young wannabes like yourself into fully-fledged superheroes. Superman, Batman, Trifle Man, they all started here. Now, which superhero would you like to become? Well, uh, I've had a look in your brochure, and I quite like Matt's man. Ready to build and split whole numbers into parts of numbers other superheroes cannot reach. Well, there's a lot to learn if you want to become maths man. Let's see, where shall we start? Oh yes, this looks interesting. Fractions, are you familiar with them? I don't know a little bit about fractions. Good. Then let the training commence. Here is your intergalactic interactive <laughs> learning screen. Let's start with halves. You know what a half is? Yes, I've seen halves before. Look, I can fold my map in half. Ah, oh, yes, your map is folded exactly into two equal parts. Folding is good, maths man, but at this school, we will be zapping. Can you zap? <laughs> can I zap? Hand zapping. <laughs> That's way out of date. Have you not heard of mind zapping? It's very easy. You just think of a shape, let the fraction force be with you, and hey presto, it will appear. <laughs> That's better. A diamond, now split it into two. <laughs> Spot on. A diamond split into equal parts. Each part is half. Oh, yeah, but halves are for beginners. OK, then. I think we could be talking quarters. Hmm. I'll show you a dancing shape. When it splits up, call out the fractions you see. One quarter and three quarters. Two quarters and two quarters. One half and one half. I can recognise quarters when I see them, but when it comes to writing them out, I sometimes forget which number goes on the bottom and which goes on the top. Exactly why we're here, maths man. Here's something to help you remember. <coughs> this shape is split into four equal parts. One part is coloured in. So to write the fraction, Firstly, we put down our dividing line. Now, when working out which number goes on the bottom, we call this the denominator. Simply remember this rhyme. How many equal parts can you find? Write this under the dividing line. How many equal parts can you find? Well, there were four. Write this under the dividing line. Piece of cake! What about the top number? The numerator. Um, try this rhyme. How many parts do we want this time? Write this number above the line. How many parts do we want this time? Well, that's the coloured parts. And there is one of them. Write this number above the line. <laughs> so that's one part out of the four, or one over four, which is a quarter. Well done, maths man. Let's move on. How are your balancing skills? What do you mean? You're standing on the fraction number line tightrope. The what? <gasps> oh. 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 
I'm afraid of height. Huh? It's okay. But look, what's this got to do with fractions? Well, we can look at fractions on the number line. Now, the end nearest you is zero, the other end is one. See what happens when you walk the tightrope. One quarter. Two quarters. This feels like halfway to me. One half. Yeah, I was right. It looks as though two quarters is the same as a half. Three quarters. One. Oh, I was expecting four quarters. Four quarters must be the same as one. Oh, good job, maths man. I think you need to recover from your ordeal. Here's Colin Cool. Find the fraction. <laughs> ah, Colin Cool's the name. Fractions are the game on today's Find the Fraction. <laughs> okay, we have the blues, we have the reds, we have the questions. So let's play Find the Fraction. Look to your monitors, question number one. If this cake is divided equally amongst four people, what fraction will each person get? Is the answer A, one half, B, four quarters, or C, one quarter? Make your choice and find the fraction. And time's up. <laughs> and both teams have answered C, but the answer is... C! Yes. Well done. Give yourself two points. And look to your monitors. Question number two. Roughly, how full is this glass of delicious blackcurrant juice? Is it A, one quarter full, B, three quarters full, or C, two quarters full? Make your choice. Find the fraction. And time's up. <laughs> and incredibly, both have said B. The answer to the question is B. So well done. Give yourself two more points. Look to your monitors. Question number three. This train has four carriages. What fraction of the train is still in the tunnel? Is it A, a half, B, two halves, or C, one quarter? Make the choice. Find the fraction. And time's up. Now the red team have answered A, and the blue team have answered B. The correct answer to the question is A. Well done, red team. Give yourself two points. And this noise means we've run out of time. Let's count up the final scores. The blue team have a wonderful four points, but this week's winners are the red team with six points. Challenge. Now, Amy, your job is to find the half blocks and the quarter blocks hidden within the balloons. And Sharif, your job is to build a fraction wall with them. Can they do it? Let's find out as we find the fraction. <laughs> Today, the red team are looking for two half blocks and four quarter blocks. Time's up! Oh, come on and join me. Didn't they build well? <laughs> well, let's have a look at your fraction wall. You've got two halves. That makes one whole. And you've got four quarters. That makes a whole, too. Congratulations! You've built the perfect quarter and half fraction wall. <laughs> but sadly, we've run out of time. But never mind. We'll see you next time on Find the Fraction! <laughs> Do you know there are fractions almost everywhere? You don't believe me? 
Well, here's the man to prove it. It's Harry Hansen with Sports Stand. Sports Stand. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Sports Stand. I'm Sue Harker. And I'm Harry Hansen. Marvellous. Today we're going to be looking at the 1990 Commonwealth Games where England won gold in the 4x100 metres relay. Harry. Oh, yeah. Do I not remember this? Oof. Not so much for the race, of course, but for the absolutely stunning fractions. Let's see what happened. This time they go. And they're off. Oh, terrific start, Harry. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, but you're missing the fractions there, Sue. Look, stop. <laughs> Let's go back. Right. Here is the whole team. Uh, there are four runners in the team. So the four runners make up the whole four equal parts. What's really important here, Sue, is that he is the first runner out of the four. That's one out of the four, or one quarter, one quarter of the whole team of four. <laughs> Sue. Terrific. <clears throat> and then... Oh, and then, of course, he hands the baton over to the next runner. Look! He's a amazing! What? The handover of the baton? No, the fractions. Because the next runner is the second out of the four. That's two out of the four, or two quarters of the whole team. Oh, well, moving on. Of course, then the third runner's next. He's the third out of the four. So there's one, two... Three quarters of the way through the team. <laughs> Shall we continue? Now then, the last runner. Look at him go. Yeah, yeah, of course, the last runner. He finishes first. He wins the gold for England. But look, look, he's the fourth out of the four. That makes four quarters, which makes one hole. Would you please let me get a word in edgeways? Go ahead. Thank you. Well, obviously, the race is over now. So, uh, <laughs> that's it from Sports Dan this week. With so, me. from me and Susie and the Fractions, it's goodbye. Sports Dan! OK, Harry Hansen's good. But there were no fractions there that I couldn't handle. Hmm, ready for something trickier, hey? The number 12. What is three quarters of the number 12? Well, it's, um. Well, you simply... Come on, then, give us a clue. <laughs> OK. I'll do the first part, and then you take over. Now, a good way of doing this is to find what one quarter is, and then you can work out what three quarters is. First, we'll turn the 12 into something easier. Now, the quarter blocks on the fraction wall will come in handy, too. OK, maths man? Split the 12 sweets into quarters. Split them into quarters. Now, if I remember, that means splitting them into four equal parts. So, one quarter of 12 is three, two quarters of 12 are six, and three quarters of 12 are nine. Answer, nine. Excellent. Well done, maths man. Now, let's go back to when you found one quarter of 12. Another way of doing this is to split the 12 into four equal groups, like this. Just a second. 12 split into four groups is the same as saying 12 divided by four. So to find a quarter of a number, you divide by four. Fantastic fractions, Your Holiness. That's brilliant. Oh, dear. Yes, what? The diddler. Oh, where? Children? Oh, no. Who is it? The diddler. The dastardly, diddliest dandy of them all. And it looks like there's going to be some diddling down on planet Earth. Those children need help. They need a superhero. They need... Maths man. I'm on me way. get the ball back now. I'll get it later. Let's have a break. Mum left some oranges for us. Mum, 
mum left me eight oranges. There are four of us, so that should be two each. So, one for you, one for you, one for you, and one for me. One for you, one for you, one for you, and none for me. That can't be right. Just a second. You said there were eight oranges, but there are only seven. So that means one of our oranges is missing. Shh. So what are we going to do? We need help. Yes, we need... Mouse Man! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? <coughs> no, it's Mouse Man. Ready to build and split whole numbers into parts of numbers other superheroes cannot reach. Greetings, Earth children. What's the problem? We have to share seven oranges between us. There are four of us. We each get one whole orange, but what do we do with the other three? No, oh, I see. Well, there are four of you, so why not split the remaining oranges into quarters? That's four equal parts. Then we know you'll each be getting the same amount. Let me show you. First, I'll zap my fraction food cutter. Now, I'll cut the oranges in half. Cut it in half. And then cut the halves in half again. Like this. Ta-da! So that's four equal parts, or four quarters. So, that's one quarter for you, madam. One quarter for you, madam. One quarter for you, sir. And one quarter for you, madam. Now the next orange. In half. And half again. Makes four quarters. Now, you share it out, Earth Child. One quarter for me, one quarter for you, one quarter for you, and one quarter for you. And the last orange. In half. And then in half again. Uh, your turn. One quarter for you, one quarter for you, one quarter for you, and one quarter for me. So, how many quarters do you each have? Three, three quarters. Correct. So, altogether, seven oranges divided among four children is one and three quarter oranges each. Thanks, Mouse Man. You're the best. No problem. And remember, when you don't understand and maybe you need a hand, who you gonna call? Mouse Man. Up, up, in the way. Well done, Maths Man. You saved the day. Does that mean I'm a qualified superhero? You must be joking. You've only just started. But you have passed your halves and quarters. <laughs> Will Maths Man become a fully fledged superhero? Will he ever become a whole man? Find out in the next exciting episode of Megamans. <laughs> In space lies Superhero School. 
Its next student is boldly going to learn what no other superhero has learned before. Yes, this is the story of Maths Man. For the of man, it's Maths Man. How many equal parts can you find? <laughs> My next student. Write this under the dividing line. Yes. Let's make a start. Now, which superhero are you? Batman? No. Banana Man? No. Vacuum Cleaner Man? No. Oh, yes, here you are, Maths Man. Yes. Ready to build and split whole numbers into parts of numbers other superheroes cannot reach. Ah, right, you're studying fractions. And according to my records, today it's quarters and eighths. Quarters and eighths? Hmm, eighths. That seems like a bigger number, but is it a bigger fraction? Let the training commence. OK, maths man, think of a shape and mind zap it for me. How about a rectangle? Oh, very impressive. Let's divide your rectangle into equal parts. <laughs> Colour part of it in. Now, what fraction of the shape is coloured in? Well, that's quarters. I can do quarters. That's four equal parts and three parts coloured in. So that's three quarters coloured in. Very impressive, maths man. You've been practising. OK, I think we're ready to move on to the next fraction. Here's a rectangle. Now to divide it into equal parts. Hang on. That's quarters. We've done quarters. Patience, maths man. I haven't finished yet. I'm now going to split those quarters into half. Now, what fraction of the shape is coloured green? Oh, I think I'm going to need that rhyme. Can you remember the rhyme for the bottom number? That's the denominator. It goes, how many equal parts can you find? Write this under the dividing line. Oh, there are quite a few equal parts and each of them looks pretty small. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight equal parts altogether. So the eight goes under the dividing line. Now for the top number. That's the numerator. The rhyme goes, how many parts do we want this time? Write this number above the line. Well, the coloured parts are the ones we want this time. And there are one, two, three, four, five. So the five goes above the dividing line. So that's five parts out of the eight, or five over eight, which is five eighths. Bravo, maths man. Now it's time for some dancing. Uh, I'm not very good at dancing. Not you dancing, a dancing shape. When it splits up, your job is to call out the fractions you see. <laughs> Seven eighths and one eighth. Three eighths and five eighths. Four eighths and four eighths. So how did you do? Oh, no probs. I recognise them all. Good, because it's time to walk the fraction number line. Oh, no, your wholeness. Please, don't make me walk the fraction number line tightrope. Maths man. Yes? You're already on it. <gasps> now, off you go, and listen as those fractions are called out. One eight. That was quick, just a few steps and a fraction already. I think I can guess what fraction's coming next. See if you can call them out. Two eighths. Three eighths. Four eighths. This feels like halfway. So what's another way of writing four eighths? One half. Yes, of course, a half. Five eighths. 
six eighths, seven eighths, one. And one is the same as eight eighths. Ooh. Well done, maths man. Guess what's next? At your superhero school, it's time to meet Colin Cool. Pay attention, it's time for action. All join in with Find the Fraction. B -b Find the Fraction! <laughs> Hi, Colin Cool's the name. Fractions are the game in today's Find the Fraction. <laughs> okay, we have the blues, we have the red, and we have the question. Let's play. Find the fraction. <laughs> B -b Find the fraction. <laughs> now, the team that has the most points will go on to the Find the Fraction physical challenge. Look to your monitors. Question number one. Which shape, yes, which shape shows five-eighths colored green? Is it A, B, or C? Make your choice and find the fraction. Time's up, and both teams have answered A, and the answer to the question is A. <laughs> Give yourselves two points. Look to your monitors. Question number two. Take a look at this number line, but what fraction is missing? A, four-eighths, B, five-eighths, or C, three-quarters. Make your choice. Find the fraction. And time's up. <laughs> Incredibly, both teams have chosen B. The answer to the question is B. <laughs> well done. Give yourselves two more points. And look to your monitors, question number three. Which fraction, yes, which fraction is the biggest? Is it A, three quarters? Is it B, four eighths? Or is it C, two quarters? Make your choice and find the fraction. And time's up, <laughs> and both teams have chosen A. And the correct answer to the question is A. Well done. Give yourselves two more points. <laughs> now, this noise means we've run out of time. Let's count up the scores. The blue team have scored six, and the red team have scored six. So it's time to ask the tie break question. I'll ask the question the first team to give the answer wins. Are you ready? What is a half of a half? A quarter. Is the correct answer. And the blue team of this week's winners Come and join me for the Find the Fraction Physical Challenge. For, for find the Fraction Physical Challenge. <laughs> now, Jonathan, your job is to find the eighth blocks and the quarter blocks hidden within the balloons. And your job, Sophie, is to build a fraction wall with them. Can they do it? Let's find out when we find the fraction. Today, the blue team are looking for four quarter blocks and eight eighth blocks. And time's up! Come and join me! <laughs> Didn't they build well? <laughs> Let's have a look at your fraction wall. You have four quarters, and that makes one whole, and you have eight eighths, and that makes one whole too. Congratulations, you've built the perfect quarter and eighth fraction wall. <laughs> but sadly, we've run out of time. But never mind, we'll see you next time on Find the Fraction. <laughs> Now, maths man, a question. Do you like pizza? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. OK, imagine you're about to tuck into a succulent piece. Which would you rather have? Three quarters of a whole or five eighths of the pizza? Well, I'd want the biggest piece. So which is...